My name is Al Foreman, and I'm sitting here at Nutricular Publishing's corporate offices in Loxahatchee, Florida. I'm here with Dr. Bob Berger. One of the subjects that I'd like to discuss today, Bob, is the issue of UTIs. UTIs seem to plague women throughout their lives. Not only women, but I know we've had men at different times come in looking for solutions to the problem. But in essence, give our listeners a little brief history of what is a UTI. A UTI is a urinary tract infection that not only women have, but men get them a lot also. The reason women get more UTIs than men is because they're more exposed and more open to bacterial infections than a man is. And many times these urinary tract infections, they become what's known as chronic or lasting over a period of time. And there's a lot of reasons for that. Uh, and we're gonna go into some of those reasons. Now the normal course of treatment that most women will get would be a round of antibiotics. What does antibiotics do for UTI? The uh, UTIs, when, a, when a, a woman comes in with a UTI into the doctor's office, almost 100% of the time she's always going to be given a prescription for an antibiotic. And of course, the reason an antibiotic is used is because you're fighting a bacteria with another bacteria. But the biggest problem is that this antibiotic becomes... Uh, the women becomes, their bodies become used to it after a certain period of time. And so it becomes less effective over a period of time. And possibly the first or second time that a woman is given an antibiotic, it will work and the UTI will subside. But it'll, if it comes back, it's very hard to get rid of the second, third, fourth, and fifth time because the body becomes used to the antibiotic and also, the antibiotic, uh, it, it basically becomes weaker because it has to get used to that uh, effect of fighting the, the UTI, which it does, because it adapts. Now, over the years, I know that when women have gone on antibiotics, what they've experienced is several different rounds of antibiotics, which will decrease the effectiveness of their system their ecosystem in the body, which causes a great deal of distress. Uh, antibiotics work, once again, simply by fighting the bacteria by what's known as competitive inhibition. In other words, it competes with the bad bacteria for nutrients. But over a period of time, the antibiotic itself can become a problem and it can actually cause a super infection in the body where the antibiotic starts to be the problem. And one of the biggest problems with antibiotic use over periods of time, chronic use, for both men and women, is that the body's immune system becomes weaker because we don't fight off the infection anymore. We're allowing, we allowed the antibiotic to do so. And so anytime you don't, you know, use your own immune system to fight off an infection using an outside source, your own immune system it doesn't work as hard. And then what happens is when the body gets used to the antibiotic and the bacteria adapts to the antibiotic so it doesn't affect it as much anymore, the body isn't able to really fight the infection anymore. And this is when a uh, UTI becomes chronic. And some of these chronic UTIs can last for many, many months, years, and it can go on for the lifetime of a person unless they do something about it. And the biggest problem, of course, with the use of antibiotics over long periods of time or the overuse of them is our immune system is not really functioning as it normally would. And this sets us up for not only UTIs, but other diseases and problems that our immune system may not be able to take care of because it's no longer as strong as it once was. About a year ago, a product came to Marketplace from a company called Buku Life, which dealt with UTIs or urinary tract infection. Why is this product so unique in its ability to control UTIs? The uh, Buku products have a number of components in there that are different, of course, than antibiotics. These are natural components, uh, and they're very well known 
as far as what they do, they, number one, they actually go after three things. They increase immune function, they, they're antiseptic, and they also reduce the amount of histamine produced in the body. And that's extremely important, uh, what they do. Uh, the, one of the strongest natural uh, chemicals that we have that are out there is something called quercetin. And I'm sure everybody's heard of that. Quercetin is a natural, I'm going to say natural, antibiotic and antiseptic. In other words, it works with the body to get rid of the bacteria, but then again doesn't really compete with the bacteria, so it's able to get rid of it and the bacteria doesn't come back when used over a period of time. And other uh, components that are in the Buku products, there, besides the quercetin, there's hesperidin, there's diosmin, which is a semi-synthetic form of hesperidin, and rutin, which is very similar to uh, quercetin. Rutin also has another effect in that it actually stops spasms, which of course many women that have UTIs, one of the biggest complaints they have besides the pain or itching and everything else that goes along with it and the fatigue, they also have a lot of spasms in their uterus and in that area, so this really helps there also. Is there anybody that you know that would not qualify or would not be able to take this particular Buku Life product called UTI in the event they have a problem? Basically, everyone can take the products, whether they're using uh, an antibiotic or not. They can actually use other things with these Buku products because there's no interaction. Remember, these are natural products that are found and they have no interactions with other components, either natural or even drug. And once again, even though we're, today we're talking about more women with UTIs, many men also suffer from UTIs too, and men can use this product just as well as women can. It's very, very effective. I want to thank you very much for all the great information you share with our listeners today. I appreciate it, and I hope that our listeners gathered as much great information as I have. Thank you very much.